Good afternoon, everyone. Dolphin Oracle here again today, checking out the latest enhancements in MX Package Installer. So I've got the package installer open here, and I'm going to drag this over here to the side. There we go. And there we go. So what's new? Well, number one, across the top here, you're going to see that MX Package Installer has direct access to the other repos besides just the popular applications tab, which was really kind of the the original main idea behind behind the application. So now instead of having to go to the the old version when you went wanted to install from stable or from test, you had to click on the full catalog tab and then select the right repository. And if it was the wrong one you wanted, you had to switch it. It, it just took a long time to get to what you wanted. Now you can go directly to them. So if you want to go with the regular stable repos, now it says stable, but actually this is going to pull from whatever repositories you have configured. So you see that's relatively quick. But if you wanted to go to test repo or Debian pack ports, well now instead of having to go to a tab and clicking back and forth, you can just go directly to them. And you can pull down whatever testing applications that you might want. And the same goes for Debian backports. Yeah, it's fine. It's Debian backports. Okay, so these are the same, functionally, these are the same features you've come to know and love, but now the access to them is just a little bit faster with the new tab interface. Or with the expanded tab interface, I guess I should say. But what's this guy right here? Flat packs. Maybe you've heard of flat packs. Flat packs are one of the big three uh, wrapped up application packages that are distro agnostic meaning they're not like dev files they're all in ones they have all their libraries and all their little bits and bobs that they need to run are included in the flat pack and so that makes them able to if a developer or whoever packages the thing uh, makes a new application they can do it as a flat pack and you can install it here uh, with the flat pack tab so let's check that out So the fly pack tab, you see, I've already have uh, it has the same idea. Grays out, it's already installed. You can install multiple flat, uh, remotes up here or repos. That's kind of the slang term over in flat pack world is remotes, uh, but they're just a repository. Uh, I've actually added KD apps. The uh, flat hub is the default, and it'll come pre-configured with. Uh, with MX Package Installer, and also you're going to get the flat hub, flat pack back in, so that this stuff just kind of works. Uh, we hope. Uh, so, if you want to search, you you got the you got the usual searches. So let's let's, let's search for something. Let's search for Kden Live. See, I already have Kden Live installed. This actually installed 18.08. Now, one thing you're not going to get right now. This is um, it's going to tell you it's the stable version. That's actually coming from the stable branch of the flat hub uh, repository. It doesn't necessarily tell you the version number yet. Yeah, maybe in the future. But right now, uh, it's in, I know just because I already installed it, it's installing uh, 18.08, which is a big step up from the 16 point whatever that's in our main repo. I think we have 18 point something in our test repo. But this is just to prove a point that it is here. Um, and it does run just fine. Uh, there's all sorts of apps in here. Um, let's see, what would be another big one? Is there an OBS Studio? No. Is there uh, Zoom? Yes, Zoom. So Zoom's a teleconferencing software that we sometimes use on Big Daddy Live, and that is available here as a flat pack. So that's kind of cool. I installed Abbey Word on here. Um, if you hit the advanced button here, it'll also upgrade your flat packs. They are there is a, a a way to upgrade them. If you uh, want, you can add more repositories here, and you can get if you put the flat pack remote URL. That's the location, and it's usually on their on the flat on the on the hubs on the remotes uh, setup page. You can put that in here and click Add Remote. It will add remote. That's how I added the KD Apps repository. And also, if someone gives you what's called a flat pack ref location or a location on their web on their website to their ref file, you can paste that in here and click Install App, and it will install the flat pack uh, from that rather than going through a, a remote uh, repository. Very handy tool. By default, everything installs for all users, but you can do it just for the current user. Um, so there's a lot of power here. There's a lot of features. Uh, of course, Flatpak's always been available from the command line, but we find most users would rather check a box than go through the all the tab complete and all that stuff in the searching in over the command line. It tends to make people nervous. Okay, real quick, let's just install something 
uh, using using the application. I'm going to use the search field. Let's see. Let's let's find this open shot in here. Open shot is in here. Uh, Bluefish. That's a, a an editor. Uh, let's see here. I thought I saw Open RA in here earlier. It is. I'm going to install Open RA. Now you see it's going to download uh, some locales. It's going to download a platform, and it's going to download the app. It goes through a lot of steps to uh, to get these applications uh, installed. Okay, so there it goes. It's finished downloading everything, and it is now installed. I'm going to open it. I've actually never installed OpenRA, but it looks like it gives me uh, Tiberian Dawn, Red Alert, and Dune 2000. Now, I've never done these. I don't know if I need like the original media or or what. But let's just open up Red 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 Alert. Red Alert requires artwork and audio from the original game. All right, so that's fine. So anyway, they installed, they worked. Uh, didn't have any problems uh, with that. Um, sounds kind of cool. So there's a lot of stuff in here that may or may not be in our repository. If you find something that's not in our repository or if you just want a version that for whatever reason we can't backport into our uh, main or test repositories, well, the flat pack is just one more option for you to install the apps you need because, after all, it's your computer. What's the trade off? Flat packs aren't going to integrate theme wise 100% perfectly with the desktop. They just don't. Uh, we'll keep you apprised on that, but right now, mine don't. Uh, you, for GTK apps, I get Adwata themed apps everywhere, and for the KDE apps, it's a little hit or miss. I've only got KDE and Kden Live installed, and by default, Kden Live actually can force its own theme, so it, it's kind of nice. They they threw in some nice features to to force it to use a KDE like Breeze theme, I think is what it's using Breeze Dark. So uh, I think Abby Word here. I'll, I'll fire up Abby Word because I know it's in here. Abby Word, you can see, it doesn't match the overall system theme. If you do things like open the files, you everything is it, it's all here. It's just the theme wise not gonna work. The other big trade off is file size. Some of these things are very very large. Some of them require run what's called a runtime backend. So when you install an app, like say installing a GNOME text editor, if you installed that directly from our repository, it'd be a relatively small download. It might require forty mega or forty or fifty megabytes, uh, uh, or more, I guess, uh, on on, on with a flat pack because you have to install the GNOME runtime that the flat pack depends on. If all that sounds like gibbery goosh, just realize that they take significantly more space on the hard drive, but they tend to integrate just fine. They, they shows up in my menu. You might have to reboot once after the flat pack stuff gets installed the first time, uh, or it won't be picked up in the or not reboot, but log in, log out because uh, it won't or they won't show up in the whisker menu right away. But uh, hopefully that won't be a problem uh, in normal usage down the road. Uh, so anyway, that's the new features in MX Package Installer. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post. It formed on mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.